Silver Civet Story 3. It was early in the morning and Silver Civet was looking out the window. He was watching Sunny City wake up. Early morning was Silver Civet's favorite time of the day. Silver Civet looked at the grassy place. He was surprised. The grassy place was now white. Papa, Papa, called Silver Civet excitedly. Come and see the grassy place. Oh, something has happened. Papa walked into the living room. He peeked out the big window too. Oh, yes, my boy, said Papa as he thumped his big tail. Something has happened, all right. Something very strange indeed has happened. I have some time before I drive my shiny bus. Let's walk down and see what has happened. Soon, Silver Civet was pitter-pattering down the sidewalk beside Papa. They hurried to the grassy place. Silver Civet was so excited. Look at all the white stuff, shouted Silbert Civet as he stopped at the edge of the grassy place. Why, it's, it's paper. Sure enough, there were 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80, 90, 100, or more pieces of paper on the green grass. Paper, paper everywhere. Pieces of paper even hung from the six trees. What a mess, said Papa. It's almost like a snowstorm made out of papers, said Silbert Civet. He picked up a piece of paper. It was all soggy. It was really wet. Yes, yes, what a mess. Just then, Silbert Civet heard a strange sound. Sniff, sniff, ha, 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 choo! Silbert Civet looked up. Standing in the middle of the soggy white paper mess was Mr. Centipede. Mr. Centipede was sniffing and sneezing. He was shaking his head. The wind had, the wind has blown my paper onto my grassy spot, moaned Mr. Centipede. How can I ever make my grassy spot into a parking lot by tomorrow? I cannot clean up this mess by myself. I'm ha 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 choo. I'm too sick today. Silver Civet looked at Mr. Centipede kindly. Silver Civet looked at Papa. May I help Mr. Centipede? asked Silver Civet. May I help him clean up this grassy place? I think Mr. Centipede would like some help. Papa Civet smiled down. He was glad Silbert Civet wanted to help others. Of course, said Papa, as Mr. Centipede sneezed again. If Mr. Centipede will agree, Mama Civet may bring you back to help this afternoon. I will come by after I finish my work and we can all work together to help Mr. Centipede get the job done. Oh, thank you, thank you sniffed Mr. Centipede. Thank you all so much. That afternoon, Silbert Civet and Mama, too, began to help clean up the grassy place. Swish swash, Silbert Civet picked up soggy pieces of paper from the grass. As Silbert Civet and Mama worked together, other creatures walked by, and others stopped to help, too. A squirrel family picked the papers from the very tip tops of the trees. An elephant gentleman with a blue bow tie carefully mowed the grass and Mama swept the sidewalks. A red haired mother spider and two little sister spiders helped Silbert Civet put pieces of paper into a giant trash sack. Later, when his work for the day was done, Papa came by to help too. Papa helped carry loads and loads of paper to the garbage. By evening, the grassy place looked nicer and greener than ever before. At supper that evening, Silver Civet talked about the grassy place. It was such fun working there today, said Silver Civet. It was quiet and peaceful under those big trees. Everyone enjoyed being together too, Silver Civet said. He was thinking about the parking lot. At that moment, there was a knock at the door. Papa went quickly to answer the door. 
There stood Mr. Centipede. He was smiling. He was not sniffing or sneezing anymore. Hello, said Papa to Mr. Centipede. Please come in. Thank you, answered Mr. Centipede as he stepped into the apartment. I want you to know that I feel much better now. The grassy place looks green and great. I cannot have done it without your wonderful help. Thank you, Silver Civet. Silver Civet smiled. Now that you are better, Mr. Centipede, you can make the grassy place into your parking lot. Lots and lots of folks can park there for your shoe store. Mr. Centipede smiled. Well, he chuckled, I've changed my plans. I'm wondering if you could come by the grassy place early tomorrow morning. I want you to see my new plans. You want us to come by early, Mr. Centipede? Asked Silbert Civet. You want us to come by just when Sunny City starts to wake up? Because that's my favorite time of the day. Oh, yes, grinned Mr. Centipede. I want you to come early in the morning. Then you can enjoy my plan all day. You see, please tell all your friends to come too. I have something super for you to see. Goodbye for now. Goodbye, Mr. Centipede. Goodbye, called Silbert Civet. See you early tomorrow morning. At the beginning of the story, the green grassy place looked like it had turned all what was the white stuff all over the grassy place? Who was standing in the middle of the grassy place? Why couldn't Mr. Centipede clean up the paper mess himself? Who asked to help Mr. Centipede? Who all stopped to help Mama and Silbert clean up the grassy place? Later, who knocked at the door while the Civet family was eating supper? Was Mr. Centipede sniffing and sneezing now? What did Mr. Centipede want the Civet family and their friends to do? Why did Mr. Centipede want the Civet family and their friends to come to the grassy place early the next morning?